This is the installation tutorial for the XR510, uh, installing it onto Windows 7. This is the XR510. Hopefully you have this printer sitting in front of you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and want to turn on your machine. And if it's already on, go ahead and reboot it and hit the F8 key as it's booting into Windows. And you should get to the advanced boot options. You're going to want to disable driver signature enforcement and then press enter and boot into Windows. When you're in Windows, go ahead and open up Internet Explorer or Firefox and go to our website, www.pos-x.com. Hover over the Support tab and go to Downloads. This is where you will download the latest driver for the XR510. So we're going to select Receipt Printers from the category. And then the product is the XR510. And then we're going to go ahead and download the Windows driver. And we want to save this to a folder on the computer because we're actually going to have to open it in a special way as an administrator. So we'll go ahead and save this to the folder and let it download. Speeds are going to vary based on your internet connection and how far away from the servers you are. But we'll let this download now. And when it's completed, we're going to go ahead and open the folder and right click on the driver and sit run as administrator. This is an important step. And the driver installation will now start. So we'll go ahead and click next here. Let it run through some of its automated process. And now from this screen, we're going to go ahead and select Vendor Thermal Printer and click Installation. And then you'll see Windows 7 is the operating system and we'll leave it on LPT1. We'll change the ports a little bit later on. So the installation is now going to commence. We don't need to set it as the default printer. If you would like to, you can go ahead and leave that check mark there. And then next it'll say you need to reboot when in fact actually you do not. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck the rebooting and click OK. Now the driver installation is complete. So we're going to go ahead and go into um, Windows the Device Manager and change a few settings in the printers. So go to Devices and Printers here. And we'll go ahead and right click on the vendor thermal printer. That's the driver that you just installed and go to printer properties. And from here, we're going to go ahead and change the ports to the USB. So we'll click the ports tab. And we'll scroll down here and check the USB. I'm using the first one. You may have others listed since you have other printers installed on USB. So we'll select the one that's unused. We'll go ahead and go to general now and we are going to print the test page and uh, hopefully you have success in this test page and your printer is successfully installed in Windows 7.